during the archaic migrations of North America, there was a vast amount and large number of Indian cultures that would make their way through the Great Lakes region and come to what is known as Ohioville, Pennsylvania. And as I promised in my former videos, I wanted to show you some of the Native American culture that exists in Beaver County and some of the foundation of where the Indians have played a magnificent role at. And you're looking at it right now. But before we get to that, we stopped at a church here, which is one of the oldest churches in Beaver County, which is the New Salem Presbyterian Church of Ohioville. Long after the Indian villages had disappeared here and the land began to start to get settled by groups of religious people such as Presbyterians, Methodists, Quakers, the religious structure of Beaver County was scattered. Here in this little borough of Ohioville here, things began to take shape. And this is one of the oldest churches, as you can see by the sign founded in 1797, that would be incorporated. This is one of the first religious artifacts, you might, if you want to call that, here in Beaver County. I think the only church that predates this is the Mill Creek Church, which is in Hookstown, and that's, I believe, was founded in 1784. But I think the plaque can speak for itself. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a tour. And this is the town of Ohioville. Founded primarily on agriculture. There's the old cemetery across the street, which is the Presbyterian Church Cemetery. What I'm showing you is the significance of Native American culture. Because what a lot of people don't realize about Beaver County is a lot of these roads especially here in Ohioville, a lot of them were Indian trails long before they were roads. They were deer trails, hunting trails. And the significance of the Native American culture is unprecedented in Beaver County because before these churches were established, many villages were all through this area, especially here, right where we're standing in Ohioville. You had Iroquois, Shawnees, Delawares, Senecas, Oneidas. But what's even more significant about that is these cultures were uh, descendants from Iroquois and Algonquins. We had both here in Beaver County, and that is especially significant. So many div uh, diverse cultures and languages and traditional and tribal beliefs all amalgamated all through these areas here that we're seeing on film. And it became a melting pot for American Indians, if you will. If you want to talk about diversity, and the first thing that may come to your mind is New York City or even the city of Pittsburgh, I beg you to reconsider that the Native American culture was much more expansive than any culture that arrived from Europe. Simply because the Native Americans had occupied this land thousands of years before the arrival of white settlers, specifically here in Ohioville. And Ohioville is one of the oldest townships in Beaver County was settled in 1790 and it has been in existence as a township I believe since like 1960. So it has a long history that stretches for a couple of hundred years. And this church is one of the significant landmark in Beaver County, which is why you've seen a historical marker there. Ohioville is big. It stretches a considerable distance through the county. It's bordered in the north by South Beaver. It's bordered by Brighton Township. It's bordered in the southeast by Industry south, southwest, and Midland. Then you have the uh, Ohio River borders 
right there at the edge of the town next to Georgetown and Green Township, which are, which are near Hookstown. So this is a pretty expansive area. It was originally called Ohio Township. And it changed its name to Ohioville. I'm gonna see if I can get up here and see if maybe I might be able to zoom in and see the inside. But I seriously doubt I'm gonna be able to do that. But I'm gonna try. See the inside here. I don't think you can see anything. You can see my camera and me. You don't want to see me. <laughs> Some chair there. New Salem Presbyterian Church. Again, one of the oldest church establishments in Beaver County. Now we're going to go take a ride and go through some more of the town. Let's see if I can find some more things for you to look at. I consider Ohioville very relevant. As I said, you cannot underestimate the importance of this town considering its foundation with American Indians and frontiers people. Because also, this is a site of much activity during the French and Indian Wars. Native Americans were slowly losing their land to white settlers, specifically the French, who were here first. And then, of course, they would sever ties with the French and then battle the English. And it would be many hundreds of years later where they would lose all of their lands little by little to white settlers and it would culminate into some disastrous battles between early Beaver County settlers and Indians. Uh, sadly, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, the history of the American Indian in Beaver County is not a nice one. It was very violent, it was very dark, very bloody. and. As Ohioville became settled, it became a uh, stop like uh, Georgetown and Green Township where the kill boats would play a paramount role in the transportation of having these farm people travel from one place to another by rivers because roads had not been in place yet in Ohioville, except for the trails, of course. And these trails, you're driving on them, you're walking on them. A lot of the roads, a lot of the major highways were Indian trails. The significance of Beaver County for Indian history is sort of undermined, but then again it's not because we just have so many names in place in honor of Native Americans. We have the Chippewa, named after the Chippewa Indians, who actually didn't live in this region but were from the Great Lakes area up there near Erie. And of course you had Chief Manakatutha, where the town of Manaka is named after him, although originally it was called Phillipsburg. Chief Manakatutha was an, uh, an Oneida chief who had ties with George Washington. You had Queen Eliquippa, who was a Seneca queen. She had ties with General George Washington. Well, actually, he was a major then. He was a major in the French and Indian War. I have an article about that that I will post on uh, Google+, Plus on my Google Plus site, because I'm in the process of uh, constructing a website, but I haven't got it done yet. When all those things are done on my website and the way I want it to run, then I will uh, upload my articles and have you read them if you wish. But I just might put a couple of them on my Google Plus page. So I'll leave a link in the description for that and you can check it out. And I, I, ha I have an article written about that and I also have a, an article written about the contributions of the Native American in Beaver County. And I also have one of the Underground Railroad. And this place out here in Hookstown and a few other towns, well actually <laughs> quite a few towns in Beaver County played a significant role in the Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad w went right through Beaver County. And I have an article about that that might interest you. I would love to do a video of it, but it's so expansive I don't think I'd be able to do it all in one video. And a lot of the uh, activity that was on the Underground Railroad during Beaver County days is undocumented because it was all conducted in great secrecy. But anyways, that's enough. I'll save that for another time. But 
as you look at this beautiful landscape that's Ohioville, it's all farm community. And what you're seeing is a lot of remnants of Indian culture, believe it or not. Even though you may not see relics, you're actually seeing what it was like 200 years ago. You really are. I doubtful that you know much of the landscape has changed in that time, with the exception of roads and you know houses and businesses that have been established. But geography leaves us many clues. You just have to look good. That's all. You know, Ohioville is certainly no exception to it, as well as the other you know country communities that we have in Beaver County. This was a major capital for Native American activity. Ohioville in itself was just one big happy hunting ground, if you want to call it that, because that's exactly what it was. Indians from all over the region, as I said, specifically from the Great Lakes, knew and appreciated what Ohioville had to offer, which was, of course, it wasn't called Ohioville at that time. This was the largest hunting ground in the area. And <laughs> Ohioville still is a wonderful place to hunt, as the folks out here will tell you. It has some development out here, there's no question about it, but agriculture and the early history of Beaver County is well preserved out here. Make no mistake about it. This is why I make these videos, because I want people to understand and I want people to appreciate the wonder, wondrous diversity we have of what it is to be a Beaver Countyan. From frontiers people, to industrial people, to Native Americans, to African Americans, we have everything out here. We have made wonderful, wonderful contributions to the history of this nation and this little county. And this is why I do this. This is why I preserve it. I want you people to see it. I want you to read about it. I want you to explore it, and I want you to understand it. Because southwestern Pennsylvania, specifically Beaver County, is a cornerstone in the development of this wonderful nation we call America. And I'm going to end the video right here with this other church, the Ohioville. Well, we'll go out and look at it. I originally did not intend to have churches in my videos. Not that I'm against religion or anything, but it's just, just the way it's, it's panning out because some of these churches are just so historic, and I want them in my videos. So... I do appreciate your patience with it. This is another old church. Oh, it, does, it doesn't say when it was founded, but I'm almost positive I read about this church. It was somewhere in the early 1800s. And this is a Methodist church. And as I said, Methodist people, Presbyterians, Quakers, these are all the early founders of our churches in Beaver County. These were the people that built them. These folks who came to these rural areas of Beaver County and with hard work and their faith pretty much are the architects, our founding fathers, if you will, of what Beaver County was to become. And it's a significant part of our history and this is why I'm recording it because I feel it needs to be preserved and it needs to be made known. Just take a look at this magnificent view. Woods of Ohioville. of one thing some of the feedback I've been getting about my videos folks are complaining that you know it's not high quality well this is not the best camera in the world however I, that should not deter you from watching the video simply because YouTube has settings and on your when you watch my videos if you see in the bottom left hand corner there's a little icon there and what it does is it gives you options in, uh, to watch the video in what quality this this is an HD camera and you can watch these in 720p video or 1080p depending on which setting you choose. 
And if you click on that and it upgrades it, uh, the videos are going to be in a lot better quality. I just want to make mention of that because some folks don't know that you can adjust your YouTube settings. So again, I'm not you know, trying to insult anyone's intelligence. I certainly appreciate you guys watching my videos. I certainly appreciate you making comments. And I hope you like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. If you don't want to see more videos like this, let me know. So until we see each other again, I hope you enjoyed this video. And have a blessed Monday. It's beautiful out here. This is why I made the video today. It's very warm for this time of year in Beaver County. Unusually warm. So stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.